In the last video, we wrote a short little program to retrieve values from the IR sensor and display them on the NXT screen. We found when the IR beacon was to the left, the numbers were less than 5, and if it was directly in front of the sensor, it returned the value 5, and so on. The challenge from that video was to build a robot that would be able to turn and find the IR beacon. So I've built a simple robot using two motors for driving, a left motor and a right motor. One of them needs to be reversed since they're facing in opposite directions. And I also need an IR sensor. I can't use input one because that's my motor controller but I can put my IR sensor into sensor input number two. From the pull-down menu, there are two options. We use the 1200 Hz option because the IR beacon transmits in 1200 Hz. So the basic idea of our program is to have our robot turn to the left or the right depending on which side the IR beacon is transmitting and if the IR beacon is directly in front of the IR sensor giving a value of 5 we need to stop. That means we're going to need to check the sensor over and over until it gives us a value of 5. So we're going to use a while loop because we don't know how many times we will have to check. Alright so in the parentheses we're going to have to write a test to see if the sensor is in front of the IR beacon. And to do that, we will get the sensor value from the IR sensor and see if it's not equal to 5. If it's not equal to 5, that means we still need to be turning, and that'll be the job that we need to do inside the while loop. If it is equal to 5, then we will stop being in the while loop and turn the motors off. Turning the motors off or stopping them is easy. We've done that before, so all I need to do is use the motor variable and set the power for each motor, the left and right motor, equal to zero. Back in the while loop, we need to handle the turning of the robot because that means we're still passing the test and we're not equal to 5. So we need to turn the robot to find the beacon. We need to turn to the left if the sensor says less than 5 and we need to turn to the right otherwise. The key word there was if and if we go into the if statements that will give us the ability to make a decision and do something different for each case. There are multiple options to choose from. I think that the last two are the best two to choose from. They use curly braces and curly braces will keep your code all together and will cut down on your opportunities for making mistakes. Now you can do an if by itself and in parentheses you'll have a test and if it passes the test you will do the code inside the curly braces. You also have the option to add on an else, and the else is for doing something if the test fails. Since we want to do two different things, we're going to use the if and the else. If the test or the condition is less than 5, we turn left, else we need to turn to the right. Writing the test should be pretty easy. We want to check the sensor and see if it's less than 5. Inside the curly braces right after that if is where we'll put the code for making the robot turn to the left. The else statement doesn't need a test and inside its curly braces is where the turning right code will be because that's where 
code goes if your test fails. Now all that's left is writing the motor code that will turn the robot left and right. I'm just going to copy and paste some motor instructions and change the power from zero. If I want to turn to the left, my left motor needs to go back and my right motor needs to go forward. I need to do the opposite in the else statement to make the robot turn to the right. Alright, so that's it. The idea of our code is that we check the sensor over and over and see if it's not equal to 5. If it's not equal to 5, inside the while loop, we determine with the if statement if we need to turn to the left or to the right, depending on the value of the IR sensor. We keep doing this until the sensor returns a value of 5 and we leave the loop and we stop. Trying it out. Oh man, my robot turned the wrong way. There's a couple options that I can do to fix that. I can change which motors are getting positive and negative or I can go back to motor setup and change the motor that was reversed. I must have reversed the wrong one. Now trying it found the IR beacon in the distance, trying it from the other side, turns the correct way, finds the IR beacon.